the great chain of being. At the top, we have God, and beneath is everything else. Reddit has a very similar structure to this, except mods are at the top, and every other pleb, like you and I, is below them. Aha, Reddit, the self-proclaimed front page of the internet. Everybody knows Reddit as the website to bully innocent children for liking things such as TikTok, Instagram, and Fortnite. However, today we're not talking about Redditors. I want to focus on the... That are Reddit mods. Now I want to preface this video with, there are some good Reddit mods. Most of them on smaller subreddits are pretty good, but that's not what we're talking about today because that's not interesting. Today, we're talking about thread lock because y'all can't behave have a different opinion than us say hi to the banhammer loser yeah i buy him now every website needs mods to some extent obviously you can't just have people reign free or else your website might be shut down and you might go to prison even sites that are way more not safe for work than reddit need mods for example 4chan and porn sites even websites on the fucking dark web need mods okay so it is a necessary evil but for some reason Unlike any other website, Reddit mods seem to be universally hated, even more than Twitch mods. Reddit mods seem to generally operate under vague and convoluted rules, meaning it's easier for them to delete posts or even ban people for quote unquote breaking the rules. This is very similar to big platforms such as Twitter and YouTube where the guidelines are, you know, somewhat vague, usually to prevent loopholes, but we'd be lying to ourselves if we didn't say these platforms don't selectively ban people, okay? Reddit mods are more hated because there is a literal personalized account that you can look at and see who banned you. It's much easier to target rage when you actually, you know, have a target. When you get banned or censored on Twitter or YouTube, it's like, well, damn, my post must have got hit with the algorithm. And while this is true for Reddit sometimes, they do have a track record of shadow banning people, most of the time it's mods removing comments or threads from a personal account. Now, I'd like to mention the most unholy of mods. They're called power mods. By definition, that I made up. It's a moderator that controls and creates many subreddits in order to fulfill their hunger for power. The reason I say this is because many of these mods mod hundreds, even thousands of subreddits. The reason they mod so many subs isn't because they want to help out these subreddits and create a good community, but it's because they love the power trip of being a mod of hundreds of subreddits. Realistically, it's not even possible to moderate that many communities effectively, okay? It's kind of like street cred, but for Reddit, so somehow more pathetic. It's like people who post loads of content specifically to get karma. It's not because they have loads of good original content. A lot of them are shit posts or reposts or both, but it's because they want loads of those illustrious imaginary internet points. Now there are two mods I want to talk about today that are uh, particularly awful. The first one, Awkward the Turtle. This username reminds me of being in sixth grade and thinking, lol, XD random turtles, so epic. Their karma is larger than the population of Ulaanbaatar and Fiji combined. So pretty dang big. This person mods 2,572 subreddits. You heard that right, 2,572 subreddits. Also, this is as of 2019, so it could be more than that by now. How the fuck does anybody have the time to mod thousands of suds? Now let's play a game at home. How do you mod thousands of subreddits? Is it A, you don't, your name is just there. B, you have literally no life outside of Reddit. Or C, a mixture of both. Uh, honestly, I don't know, but I'm assuming C. This guy also is known as a sub not C, as he cannot see, thus bans people at random. Here's a dude who got banned from nine subreddits from him. If you look at these subs, they're all different, for the most part. Meaning, the turtle found this account and banned him from multiple subreddits at the exact same time. Does this mean he banned him because he disliked him? I don't know. Something to think about. But maybe that guy was being racist. You know, we don't know that. Well, let's look at Mad Lads and see what else is being posted there. Hmm. Turtle facts. I wonder who's running that. But what did Turtle Facts have to do with Mad Lads? I came here to see crazy dudes doing crazy stuff. Not to learn that fucking turtle piss can cause you to become a piss bender, okay? Here's a dude that got banned from Mad Lads for having a different opinion. The response? Dude, just shut the fuck up. Interesting. Does Awkward the Turtle break the rules of the subs they mod? 
Maybe. Do they purposely make the rules convoluted and vague so they can ban anybody who slightly disagrees with their political opinion? Yes. Are they a power-hungry asshole who let Reddit karma go to their head? 100%. There is another one I'd like to touch on called Gallo Boob, who has more karma than Awkward the Turtle. His karma is equivalent to the population of Saudi Arabia. Do these karma and population comparisons make sense? No. Am I going to keep doing them? Uh, no, probably not. This dude, I think, sums up the perfect power mod. He made his name by farming karma through late epic screenshot from Twitter. He also blocks comments who are critical of him, a trait shared by many beloved people throughout history, such as this guy, this guy, and even this guy, because mean words on the internet can hurt people. Many have accused him of deleting posts and reposting them himself for karma. However, I couldn't find any hard evidence for this. What I could find hard evidence for is him creating alternate accounts and bashing people who talk bad about him, also giving himself karma. He's notorious for taking over subs and ruining them with off-topic reposts and using alt accounts to farm karma. However, I think there's one post that sums up power mods perfectly. Gallo Boob posts a picture of two cars with the caption, I went shopping for a new car, but fell in love with two. I ended up getting both. And they said Reddit karma was useless. Who wants to go for a spin? After everybody laughed and made fun of him, he said, quote, nerds who don't read comments lost their minds and that it was a joke. My response to this is, good joke, man. Very funny. You, uh, you tricked me. I'm, I'm ugh, dude, way to flex your internet points, man. That, that was really good. Very funny. In conclusion, Reddit mods are like politicians. Nobody likes them, but we need them. And uh, fuck power mods. Be sure to subscribe. If you do, I'll give you one free Reddit gold. If you like the video, make sure to like it. All right, peace.